This is your daily scripture dose from Catholic Faith Fillers for Monday the 25th of September 2023. Our first reading is taken from the book of Ezra chapter 1 verses 1 to 6. In the first day of Cyrus king of Persia, in order to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah, the Lord stood up the spirit of Cyrus king of Persia to issue a proclamation throughout his entire kingdom, both by word of mouth and in writing. Thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, All the kingdoms of the earth the Lord, the God of heaven, has given me, and he charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Those among you who belong to any part of his people, May their God be with them. Let them go up to Jerusalem and Judah to build the house of the Lord, the God of Israel, that is, the God who is in Jerusalem. Let all those who have survived in whatever place they may have lived be assisted by the people of that place with gold, silver, goods and livestock, together with voluntary offering for the house of God in Jerusalem. Then the heads of ancestral houses of Judah and Benjamin and the priests and Levites, everyone, that is, whose spirits had been stirred up by the Lord, prepared to go up to the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. All the neighbors gave them help in every way, with silver, gold, goods, livestock, and many precious gifts besides all their voluntary offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has done great things for us. Oh, how happy we were. When the Lord restored the captives of Zion, we thought we were dreaming. Then our mouths were filled with laughter. Our tongues sang for joy. The Lord has done great things for us. Oh, how happy we were. Then it was said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. Oh, how happy we were. The Lord has done great things for us. Oh, how happy we were. Restore our captives, Lord, like the dry stream beds of Najeb. Those who sow in tears will reap with cries of joy. The Lord has done great things for us. Oh, how happy we were. Those who go forth weeping, carrying sacks of seed, will return with cries of joy, carrying their bundles of sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us. Oh, how happy we were. Today's Gospel is taken from the book of St. Luke, chapter 8, verses 16 to 18. No one who lights a lamp conceals it under a vessel or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing hidden that will not become visible, and nothing secret that will not be known and come to light. Take care then how you hear. To everyone who has, more will be given, and from the one who has not, even what he seems to have will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.